Hey, welcome back to Jen Beauty. My name is Jennifer and here on my channel, I like to chat about all things beauty and makeup. Today is my lip declutter. I would love to tell you I know where the footage is for the rest of my intro, but that would be a lie. So let's just get into the declutter. All right, I wanna start with lip liners first. So these are pulled out because I'm pretty sure I can live without all of these. Um, I have swatched them, so I can't really pass them along, but my daughter, I think, would like to play with them. So this is flattered. It's really pretty, but I just don't think that I need it. I typically don't go for those kind of darker plummy shades. And then this one is Mamacita, and these are the ColourPop cream gel liners or lippy pencils. Sorry, cream gel liner is their eyeliner. Um, this shade is Hoopty. And this shade is Boarding Pass. Those look almost identical. I did buy a lippy vault, and um, I mean, I I was confused on what kind of lip liners I would like. So I don't regret it in that sense because it kind of helped me narrow down, but I do regret how many I have. This is BFF2. That's way too brown. I'm never going to wear that. This is Osis. And that is also too like brown, warm toned for me. Um, this one is Control also brown. I tried using some of these as eyeliners and they just did not have the staying power that I needed. So I tried to repurpose them and it didn't work. This one is BFF and um, it's not a bad nude but I have other ones I like better in there. This is curvy. Too brown. And this is BFF3, too brown. And then this is Absolute Zero, and that's too orange for me. And then Chi Chi, and that one is not terrible, but if I'm gonna go for something like that, it's, I, I don't need a lip liner, it would be, and a liquid or a gloss. So these for sure I can let go of. Okay. Let me pull these out. So I'm gonna separate and I'll be right back. not exact but these are more in like color families so this is the essence soft and precise lip pencil and this is the shade Kaba that's what it looks like it says c-a-b-a-a -A. so all right this is a good shade it's not as like creamy and soft as the ColourPop ones, but I'll go ahead and keep it just because I would like to have a drugstore option that is available. Um, I do have the NYX one, but the Essence one is cheaper, so um, I do kind of want to compare those two. This is Lumiere from ColourPop. It's one of my favorites that I use quite a bit, and I like the shade, and I like the creaminess. Now, sometimes... Um, the pencils start to fall out and I figured out that if you sharpen it with the pencil this way instead of with the pencil this way or this way, um, it kind of helps shorten the plastic so that the pencil is more snug in the container. Doesn't always work, but that is a trick that I've kind of learned helps me. Um, I have O Snap. So you can see this one, the pencil was coming out. I did push it back in, but um, the next time I sharpen it, I'll, I'm going to sharpen it the, uh, the way I just said. And these are very 
similar, but <laughs> they're still different enough. If I hadn't used them yet, I probably would declutter at least one. Um, this is 951, but at this point, like, I've already used it, so it's pointless to get rid of it. I feel like 951 is too brown, so I can get rid of that one. Um, I have this ColourPop Barbie. These are some of my favorite shades. This one is Dream House. Okay, I need to sharpen this one. And this is a gorgeous color. I really love that shade of pink. So keeping that. Um, I have Heart On, which is very purple, but I do want to keep one or two like fun colors. So I'm good keeping that one. And then I have Dial Up. Again, this one is pretty like bright. And I'm fine keeping a couple of bright ones. Um, this one is Malibu Sunset. I haven't used this one hardly at all. I think I've only swatched it. It's a very dark pink. I'll keep it. This one is I Heart This, which I've used quite a bit of. And I think the reason I don't reach for the Barbie one is because I have I Heart This, but at some point I may try to pan them, and if I end up, like, hating it, I'll get rid of one. This is Minuteman. Um, I think that's a little more brown than what I need. I can get rid of that one. And then this one is Golden Beach. While this is more brown, it's lighter, so I feel like I can use that as a pretty neutral one. Um, this is Good and Plenty. This looks like every other color that I have, but I've already used it, so I may as well see how much of those I can use up. This one is Brink. Uh, that's more brown than I would like. I'm okay keeping like one brown, but I just don't feel like I need all of these. Um, this is Vintage by Jessica Liebenskind. Liebens? Lieb Liebenskind. Liebenskind? Uh, cashmere lip pencil and mocha. Sorry, this is in a subscription box. So, I do like that shade. I may as well keep it. This is an LA Girl Perfect Precise Lip Liner in the shade Blushing. This looks like a shade I would go for. Oh yeah, I like that one a lot. I don't even think I've used this one yet, so definitely want to try that one out. This is a NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Sandstorm. I like this shade. It's light enough and neutral enough. Um, I don't love the formula that much, but I am going to see if I can make myself use it. Then I have this shade, or this Barbie pencil from Glam Light, and there's no shade name on here. I, I might be able to look up and tell you what I got. Um, I love Barbie, but this is too brown. It's a lot more brown than what I thought it was going to be. I like the other two lippies that came in this set, but I don't super love this dark brown, so I'm going to pass that along. And then I have Frenchie, which is like a super bright red. Mm. I'll, I'll keep it for fun since I've used it. And then I have this one. This is Lucky Rat Tail. This is from the ColourPop Hocus Pocus. And um, I use this when I do like a darker lip, like a darker red. It needs to be sharpened. So I'm keeping like one dark one. I 
am keeping 15 and let me go count how many I'm decluttering. And I am decluttering 16. Okay, so I have these ColourPop glowing lips. So in another episode of my poor spending habits, I bought a vault. Uh, this is the shade Status. I have never used it, so I am not going to swatch it. I'm going to pass that along. It still smells brand new, so that can be used by someone else. I have this shade, which is Museum Date. Again, brand new never used, although the cap is cracked, and that is my biggest complaint about these. I find that very annoying. Um, This one is the shade Girl Please, and I have used this one, so I'll go ahead and swatch it. These are like a more like balmy, emollient type of lip. Um, I do like the formula, but I wouldn't say like I love it and have to have it. Um, this one is the shade Peeps Pink. I've never used it, but it's a shade that I would use. I really like it, so I'll keep it. This is the shade Indulge Me. I have used this one. Um, that's a little too brownie nude for me. Hmm. This is a maybe. This is Let's Jet. I have used this. Um, I think I can make use of this. Even if I can't finish it, I feel like I can get more out of it. The ColourPop's lip stuff is on my last nerve because it does seem to be going bad faster. This is Get Right, and I have never used this one. It... It's in there kind of crooked, but I've never even so much as swatched that one, so I'll pass that one along. And then this is my favorite. This is Cockatoo, and this one is literally falling apart, but I think I can swatch it. So that's my favorite shade. Um, it's just like a very mauve like my kind of nude that I prefer. So... I have a couple more of these somewhere. One moment. I got the Hello Kitty set as well. Um, this packaging is leaps and bounds so much better than this packaging. Every single one of these that I have, the lids crack. Um, this one I did keep in my purse, but I retired it to my desk, bought another cockatoo, put that one in my purse, and that um, cap is now cracked. There is another one though that I showed, I, like I never even used it. So this one is Hello Fruity. I really like that shade. These I gravitate towards more in summer. I'm hoping that they stay good for that long. This is Fun in the Sun. This one I could use year round. Um, it's kind of a more peachy toned of uh, cockatoo, but it's not that different from, like if you combine those two, that'd probably be their baby. And then this one is Tropic Cutie, which is a nice, bright, fun shade, but not too bright since it's more balmy and shears out. So I like that one a lot. These all smell good. They smell like they're supposed to. So I guess I'll keep these. So that means I'm decluttering three and then I am keeping eight. Technically nine since there's one in my purse and I'm just simply too lazy to go get it. But it's the same shade. So I will be back with, I think we're gonna do their lippy sticks next. 
All right, so these are my ColourPop Lippy Sticks plus one random NARS um, crayon style uh, velvet matte lip pencil. <clears throat> so I'll start with the primer. The primer is just clear. Um, it's a little bit different than a balm, but honestly, like if you have chapstick, you probably would be just fine without the primer. I don't remember if I bought it in a vault or what, but it's here. So I'll keep it. I've used it. Then I have O Snap, which I do like this shade. Um, it still smells good, so I'll keep it. Um, they have a couple different formulas, which I didn't realize. This is a matte. They don't dry down incredibly, like very uncomfortable. Um, but I do like to pair them typically with a gloss of some sort because I just like a more juicy feeling and looking lip. Um, this is the NARS in Good Times. It's kind of brownish. I'll keep it for now. This is Chakra Wave. This is a matte X, which I think is like super matte. It looks exactly like the other one. And it doesn't smell good, so I'm going to declutter it. Um, this is Like Magic. This one smells like it's going. Like, they're, they're, on the lips, they're not going to look that much different. I'll keep this one until it dies. This is Topanga. This is a cream, which is definitely more of a preferred formula for me. Because I have dry skin and dry lips. Um... It smells like it's starting to go off, but I'll keep it. This is Cami. This is a matte X. Cami is actually one of my favorite shades. I just hate how dry this one is. Um, I'm just going to let it go because it's so dry. Like, you can literally see it looks like it's starting to shrivel up. <laughs> it doesn't smell like anything, but... I need to just let it go. Uh, this is Goldie. It's a matte X. Um, I'm going to hold off on that one for a second because it's darker. Um, this is Brink. It's a matte. I do like this shade. I'll keep that one. This is Best Intentions. It's a matte X. Smells like it's starting to go, but I'll keep it for now. This is I Heart This. I have the lip liner. It still smells good. I know I like this shade. I don't think I need both. So just so you know, you, you don't need both. Unless your preference is to wear both together, but I typically don't. This is Trust Me. It's a matte X. This is one of the few reds that I kept. Um, I'll keep it for now. This is Sweet Stuff. This doesn't even say what formula this is. It's no good. It smells awful. Um, it's a pretty purple, but it, nope, gotta go. I think that was from the So Very Lovely collection. This is um, Love Life. It's a matte X. Wow, this one got put away, like, out of the... It's very difficult to turn. I feel like it's drying out. Yeah, it doesn't smell good. I don't like the shade either. This is Energy Field. It's a matte X. Um... I don't think I've used these two. It doesn't smell good. It's a pretty like dark shade. I just don't reach for these very often, but it needs to go. Um, so let's do Goldie. I'm pretty sure I've swatched this before. I think I've only swatched it. Let's 
So it smells fine, so I'll keep it. I don't know that I'll get a ton of use out of it, but a couple uses is better than nothing since I can't really pass it on to someone. This is Infinite Best. It's a matte X, and I have swatched this. Um, it smells okay, but I just, there's no way. Like, I can't get any use out of that for me. I'll just pass it. All right, I'm going to go wash these off, and I will be back with an, the next category. I forgot to include my totals. I am getting rid of five, and I am keeping ten. Hold on, let me move this out of the way. So these are the 10 that I am keeping for now. Okay, my fresh kiss these are lip crims, um, I think, lip lacquer, and I don't know if there's any lip stains in here. I don't see any more, so I think this is everything. Um, I used to really like this formula. As you can tell, I don't anymore. I found other formulas I like more. My preferences have changed, so I am going to declutter all of these. Um, if they don't smell like they've gone off, my daughter actually likes this formula and likes to play around with these. So I am going to let her have the ones that have not gone off yet. And if they've gone off, they're going to go in the trash. So I'm going to take a second to kind of sniff these real quick and um, we'll do some swatches and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have the lip lacquers here. I have... Scotch Kiss, I really do like that shade. And then I have um, Brandy, I like that shade. And then I have On the Ritz, I like that shade, but I don't find myself reaching for it. And then I have Cabaret, which I don't like that shade. And out of all of these, I believe Brandy is the only one that smelled like it had gone off. So I'll give my daughter these three. These all came from the same, like, I think it was a New Year's set. I can't remember. All right, these are the lip crumbs. They all smell fine. Some of them smell like they're starting to go. So I have You Are Mine. That was from a Valentine's Day collection. And then I have Make Out. And then Heaven, Beverly Hills, The Rachel, and Page Me. And then here I have, um, what are you, Teen Spirit, Baby Doll, Strike a Pose, and Alt Rock. I actually do want to keep You Are Mine, so I'm going to keep one and then declutter the rest. So I am decluttering 13 and I am keeping one. Um, I do feel like I have more of these somewhere. I just cannot place where I've put them. I may have declared them previously and just forgot. Um, after I clean out my beauty room, because this is the last of the declutters that I'm doing is lips and then eyeshadow palettes today. Um, after I clean out my beauty room today, if I don't come across them, I'll go back and look at my last declutter and figure out. I think I did end up having to let some go. I don't see my favorite shade. Yeah, so Scotch Kiss and Speakeasy were like my favorite shades and I have Scotch Kiss, but I don't see Speakeasy. So I'm not sure what happened. I'll figure it out. Right, we have moved on to the ColourPop Luxe Velvet. So I did say on my last declutter that I would probably need to let um, these Disney designer ones go on my next um, declutter. So this one is Prince Edward. You can actually still get some of these. You can't still get them in a set. 
um, but you can still get some of these on the site. I think more of the princes. <clears throat> this one's Prince Naveen. They smell okay. Like, if there's a color I really love, I'll keep it, but um, they do smell like they're starting to go. They're starting to separate a bit. Um, I've used quite a bit of them. Like, there's a lot of windowing in them, so I don't feel like they're a total waste. This is Prince Philip. I do like that one. All right. I'm going to be weak. I'm going to keep a couple. This one is Beast. I really do like Beast. And then this one is Flynn. Uh, his colors have completely separated. I just, I don't need to keep him. I, I like it though. All right, I can let that one go. These I know are no good. This is Injuin. Inju Wait, hold on. Ingenu. Ingenu. Well, it smells okay. Okay, so I don't think that their formula smells like the greatest to begin with. I think that's part of my problem. This is La Aubert. There, it's that. I don't think it's still available. I do like that shade. I thought I was gonna get rid of all of these. I'm so weak. Um, this is Buttercup. I like that shade too. Um, this is Genie. I do like this shade, but I'm pretty sure this one smells bad. I don't know. I'll, I'll keep that one. I don't know if, like, my nose just sucks or what. Okay, I know I don't like this one. This is, it's a banger. It's not bad. I just, I don't, I don't gravitate towards that shade for this, um, formula. This one is Lucky Cat. I think this is one of my newer ones. It's very dark. Mm. I'll keep it. And then this one is Air Kiss. I don't think I like this one. It's not bad. It's just a little too like warm pink. And like, I don't know. All right, so I'm going to declutter six, and then I'm going to keep six. So I at least cut it in half. I could have done better. safe to say that bullet lipsticks um, is my biggest category. So now that I have them all together, I'm going to somewhat organize them and we'll go through kind of group by group and I'll figure out what I want to keep and what I can finally let go of. I kind of thought I would start with the like odd size packaging first. So with these minis, these are from Melt. This is the shade suntan. I'm pretty sure I've used this one. So that's suntan. It's pretty brown. I don't know if it looks quite as brown on the lips. This is undercover. Um, I've never used this one. I feel like I can, it, it's pretty, but I feel like I can pass it along to someone. Oh, I guess I should show you. 
It's a pretty shade. Um, the back of it looks like I maybe scraped it when I put the lid back on. So we'll pass that one along. Um, this one is Saucy. And I've used this one, so I'll keep it. I like that shade. This one is Shameless. This one also looks like I did something to it. I don't know if they just came like this or what, but I've never used it, so um, I'll pass that one along as well. This one is Dilemma. And that's too late. That's not something I would reach for. So I'll pass that one along. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk 2 Medium. I've used this. It's a pretty shade. Um, I've only used it like once or twice, so I can't really speak to the formula. Same with the Milt ones. I don't think I've used them enough to really have an opinion. This is a Tarte um, Maracuja, bleh, Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump in the shade Primrose. I haven't used this yet. I know I like the other Maracuja lips, and I think I'll like that one, so I'll definitely keep that. I love these um, Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lipsticks. This one is in the shade Pink Passion. I really like that one. And then this one is in the shade Hibiscus. So I really like both of those. They're kind of like my jam. So I'll definitely keep both of those. So out of that, I am decluttering three minis, keeping four minis and two full-size chart. So six and three. All right, I have some miscellaneous ones that like aren't really, like I have a bunch of Milani, Tarte, um, whatchamacallit? Colourpop, and a couple Glam Light. So I've pulled all the ones that are not those brands. I'm pretty sure I got all of my bullet lipsticks. I am sure I will find out that I did not. Oh, here's a Flower Beauty one I missed. And a Sephora. This is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Cream in Rose. Paradise, Rose Paradise. I've never used it before. I would really love to use it. I think that's a shade I would really enjoy. And the formula feels nice. This is the Lethal Cosmetics. Um, it doesn't have a name of like what kind of lippy it is, but this is in the shade Odyssey. Oh no! It was in the shade Odyssey. Like, I've never even taken this anywhere. Um, I like it. I liked it. I guess I'll see if I can get some use out of it. And if I just can't make it work in the condition it's in, I'll let it go. But that's new. I've only used it once or twice. That really sucks. Like, I haven't even put it in my purse. Um, I have this one from Context, which I got from Ipsy. This is in Tears Are Falling. And this is definitely a very knee shade. I really like it. I'll keep it. This is in the shade... What are you? I think you're Barrymore. It's one of the Perfect Pout lipsticks from Flower Beauty in the shade Barrymore. Sorry, I have a sticker stuck to my hand. That's why my hand's not in frame. Um, that's a really pretty shade. It's more sheer than I expected, but I'll, I'll give it a try. I'll see how I like it. I have these two from e.l.f. and I don't feel like I need both, so I'm going to pass along... Uh, what are you? I'm going to pass along Nectar. These are the Seriously Satin lipsticks, and then I'll keep Taffy. I have this Gemini lipstick from Sephora. <laughs> it's very coral. Sometimes I like a fun pop of coral in the summer, so I don't hate it. Um, I did learn that Sephora lipsticks are not cruelty-free, which really sucks, so I won't be repurchasing that. 
um, formula at all, even if I like it, but alas. All right, these are the Glam Light Scooby-Doo lipsticks. Um, this one is Jeepers. It is a little bit more of a like matte dryer formula than what I would prefer, but um, I do like it. This is Rut Row. This is too brown for me. I'm just gonna go ahead and pass that one along. And then this is um, Zoinks. And this is a deeper berry. Um, but it's very pretty. I, I think I would actually wear that. This is the Milani. Um, so it doesn't say what line this is from. I'll have to see if I can find it. This is Secret. I do like this formula a lot. Um, this one is Peony. That's my favorite shade. And then this one with the black band is a little bit different of a formula. This is the shade Lingerie. And this is a more like balmy texture. Um, I don't hate it, but I definitely like the other formula better when I reach for these shades, but I'll keep that one. Oh, I missed a Glam Light. This is the Glam Light Barbie. Um, again, this does not have the name on the packaging. It just says Barbie. And I really like that shade. I hope it's a good formula because that one I really like. All right, I'm going to go wash these off and then we will get into Tarte and then we'll do ColourPop last. Oh, nope, I missed one. This is Essence in the shade Charming. Um, I really love this formula. I really love this shade. Don't love the packaging, but for the price, you really can't beat it. So now I'll be back. Once again, I failed on the job and I am forgot to give you my totals. I'm decluttering two and keeping 13 out of those. All right, my apologies that we're at a different angle, but um, I was really struggling with a foot cramp, so we're gonna try this way and see how it goes. All right, I can already tell you that I really like the shade Salt Life, so that's a keep. Um, do I have, a, yeah, I have a decent amount left, but let's compare it to, say, Beach Babe. I don't think I've used that much. Yeah, I've made a decent dent in it. So Beach Babe looks like that. Mm. This is always a struggle for me because the formula is still pretty good. It still smells good. And I like it. I, I just, I don't think I'm really going to reach for Beach Babe. I think I can let that one go. And then Set Sail, if I remember correctly, I like this one as well. Yeah. We'll keep that one. Um, Escape. Escape. Does anyone else hear Escape and immediately think of that? That's a beautiful shade. We'll keep it. And then Miami Vice. Uh, that's really pretty though. I don't need it, but I have it and I've already worn it, so I may as well keep it. And then I have Sea Goddess, which I do like this one as well. <laughs> it's kind of a crazy purpley color, but I like having something a little bit different. Whoops. My God, how long have I been out of frame? Guys, you gotta tell me this. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I know you can't talk to me. So... We have Salt Life, uh, Beach Babe, Set Sail, uh, what were you called? I can't read you. Oh, Escape, Miami Vice, and Sea Goddess. 
I'm standing or I'm sitting in front of the window, so I don't know that the lighting is quite as good at this angle. I apologize, but got to work with my body. So I am keeping five and decluttering only one. All right, I just went and put some topical CBD cream all over my back and neck. Hopefully that helps. Let's start with Star Wars and Hocus Pocus. So I feel like I don't need all of these. Hello, sweetheart. I know. So I like Evil Queen, so I'll keep Evil Queen. Oh my goodness. My kitty cat wants to be held and loved on, and now she doesn't. All right, then I have Sarah from Hocus Pocus, which I wore for Halloween, and that's probably the extent to which I will wear it. It's still good, I'll keep it. Well, let me smell Evil Queen. Yeah, this is before ColourPop started getting really bad about their uh, lipsticks. Like, these are nice, um, like, metallic components, and then these are, like, the cheap plastic ones. This is Surrender. It's a beautiful shade of red, but I've never so much as even swatched it, so I'll pass it along. And then I have Dark Lord, which I have worn. It's very neutral for me. And then Supreme Ruler, which is, again, like a very dark shade. And I haven't even swatched it. So um, I'll pass that one along as well. I just, I don't think I need the other dark shade along with this one and I've already put my lips on that one so I can't pass that one along. Let's do Barbie. I have Malibu Sunset. It's more of a like hot pink and then I have Golden Beach. Am I out of frame again? Oh my god. Let me just do this. Golden Beach. It's very concealer <laughs> lips on me, so I'm just going to let it go. And then I have Dream House, which I do really like this shade as well. So I'll keep that. So I have... That's, in case I was out of frame, this is Evil Queen, Sarah from Hocus Pocus, uh, what are you, Dark Lord, and then Malibu Sunset, and then I should have been in frame for those last two. All right, Frozen. I have Little Snow. I really like Little Snow. I don't think I like this one. I love the component. But this is um, Going North. And I don't think I like this one. It looks like it's on its last leg. Yeah, it's a little like dark brown for my preference. All right, for the princesses, I have Snow White, which is completely untouched. I have never used it, so we'll let that one go. And then Cinderella, I really like. It's more of like a cool tone, like purpley pink. And let's see, Jasmine. Um, I have worn Jasmine. I don't like it quite as much. It is a pretty pink. Uh, we'll keep it for fun. I have Ariel. 
Uh, I've only worn Ariel like maybe once. I don't think I need both of those, so I'll let Ariel go. And then I have Tiana, and Tiana I don't think I've ever worn either. So I will let Tiana go. So I am keeping, I am keeping eight and I am letting, son of a biscuit, slippery little boogers. And I'm letting go of seven. <laughs> I told y'all I was missing some. So I found these three. Um, I have Speak Easy, I have Can You Even, and Room Service. Yeah, I don't think these are any good, but we're gonna let that one go. That's Room Service. This one's Can You Even. Way too brown and doesn't smell good. And then I have Speak Easy. This one is one of the lip lacquers. And for a while I loved this, but I just don't, I don't like it. I don't like it anymore. My preferences have changed. I don't want it. Also, it doesn't smell the greatest. So, bye. two more um, lipsticks, bullet lipsticks. So this one is Belle and this I've been using in my shop, my stash. It's actually very pretty and I've been enjoying it. So I'll keep Belle and then I have um, this Hip Dot Jojo Siwa one. This is just not a red that I would ever reach for. My daughter doesn't like it. The packaging drives me insane because like it doesn't stay on, so we're gonna we're gonna let that one go. She has the other ones from the set that she really likes, so can't let them all. Man, this was really satisfying how they all fit. You know what? I'm never gonna use this Lethal Cosmetics one. I'm just gonna have to take the loss and let it go. All right, these are all of my lip glosses. Um, for someone that doesn't really love gloss, I sure have a lot of them. So I'm gonna try to fix that. I'm not probably gonna be very strong, but we're gonna see what we can do. Um, right off the bat, I know that this Fenty Heat one that came in my Ipsy is going to go, so I can declutter that one. Um, I think this one's unopened. This is the NYX. This is Milky Gloss in Cookies and Milk. This is a free gift with purchase, just like Milk and Honey was. I really do like this formula. I like the Milk and Honey, but this looks like a more um, brown shade than what I would typically go for, and it's unopened, so I can absolutely pass it along. So um, let's move that one out, and I will keep this one. Um, I don't love this formula. This is the Tarte CH2O gloss. Oh, I guess I can swatch these, huh? So this is Milk and Honey. It is kind of milky, but also very nude. Not very tinted. This is the shade Salt Life, which I love this shade from Tarte. Um, 
I just don't like a really thick sticky formula and that is what both of these are. I tend to gravitate more towards tinted lip oils now but I do still love glosses on occasion. These are the older um, H2O glosses and I think I've gotten as much use as I can out of them. This one is Out of Office and Pink Sands. So this is Out of Office. It's pretty, it's kind of like a metallic finish, but I just don't love the formula and I've used as much as I can tolerate and they are getting older. And then this one is Pink Sands. It's a very pretty like shiny, duochrome flippy, whatever, whatever, but we're going to let it go. Um, this is Mythic Journey from ColourPop from their Frozen 2 collection. Um, first of all, I cannot stand these brush applicators. I know some people like them, but I hate it. I just, I don't like the feeling on my lip. It is a very pretty gloss. It was a nice formula when it was new. I have used this as much as I can. When it settles, it's about down to here, but the formula is no good anywhere. It smells awful. I can't keep putting it on my lips. Same with this one. This is the Ofra Lip Gloss in Golden Rose, and this was also in a project pan, and I just could not make myself keep using it because it smelled. Um, between the two, I actually like the ColourPop one more, but uh, they both need to go in the trash. Speaking of ColourPop, I have these two Star Wars ones, and I find these turn a lot faster. So I have Elite and Imperial. So let's look at Elite. I just don't like the smell of these. I don't know if they're bad or if I just don't like how they smell, but it's not for me. And then Imperial. Uh, that's mixed in with some lipstick. <laughs> that is not the shade. <laughs> My bad. Uh, I think I ruined this one. In any case, I was going to declutter it. I don't like them. I don't like the formula. I have this one from Makeup Geek that I'm a moron and purchased. This is Pink Bubbly Healing Lip Glaze. Uh, I thought it was going to be more like a lip oil, but I didn't realize that I already had it. It smells good, and it's a mini. I feel like I could probably make myself pan it. I'll probably regret saying that later. This is Angel Food Cake and then NYX Butter Gloss. I don't feel like I've worn this enough to know if I like the formula or not. I think it's a thinner formula, kind of like the Milky Gloss, so... I don't think I'll totally hate it. I just, I don't tend to love that feeling on my lips anymore. This um, is Essence Juicy Balm. This one is in Lovely Raspberry. Um, I've used it before. I can't remember what I thought of it. It is a little bit thicker, but it's clear. It smells very fake raspberry, like super, like, I'm putting it on my lips now to see how I feel about it because my lips are dry. Um, I don't love the smell, but I feel like it's thin enough that I could make myself work through that. Um, this is a brand new one from Tarte. This is the Man Eater Plumping Gloss. Don't ask. Um, I'm not going to swatch that one since I haven't opened it yet. This is the Sigma Lip Gloss in New Mod, I'm pretty sure. Oh, Passionate. It's from the New Mod collection. I hate these brush tip applicators, but I really like the shade. <laughs> so we'll deal with it. Um, this is from Rena Beauty, and this is in the shade, oh my gosh, Guilty Pleasure Lip Gloss. Is that the shade? I don't know. That's just what it says on the bottom that I can read. Uh, I don't super love that. I'll put that in maybe. This is from Full Ritual, and this is in the shade Second Nature. It looks 
a lot like the NYX, but it seems to have kind of like a thinner formula. So I'll give it a shot. I'll see what I think about it. All right, these two were a free gift with purchase. These are the Milani Hypnotic Lights. Um, there's the shade 01 Luster Light and then 05 Beaming Light. I'm just going to keep these for fun. And then I have the um, Color Icon Lip Gloss from Wet n Wild in the shade Gemini. <clears throat> Excuse me. I actually really do like this one, which I hate myself for because I realized Wet n Wild is not officially cruelty free. Um, I think I can finish this one, so I'll keep it. it. There's like something shaking in the lid of the component though. It's really weird. And then I have this Pixi Lip Tone. It's a pH reactive tint, so it's not really gonna tell me a whole lot if I swatch it on my hand, cause it's gonna react a little bit differently on my lips, but um, let's look at the formula. So it seems a little bit thinner of a formula. I think I'll be okay with it. Yeah, it smells okay. I don't know, all the smells are starting to run together. I just bought it, so I had a weak moment. All right, I'll just keep these. I'm decluttering eight and keeping 13. I feel like maybe I could have done better, but at the same time, like, I've already used a lot of these and I don't want to waste them. So I don't want to declutter just to declutter. I missed a lip gloss. I know, we're all shocked. This is an Ulta Beauty Shiny Sheer Lip Gloss. I just got this one this year, so I don't really see a reason to declutter it. It's open, it's been used once or twice, so we'll keep it. So I guess that's 14. Uh, real quick, I have this random Wander Beauty lipstick. I guess maybe it should have gone in with the bullet lipsticks. It still smells fine. Um, I used to keep this in my purse for a while. And um, this side is a, like, lipstick. I don't have that much left. I feel like I can probably use this up. And then the other side is a lip liner. So I found it really convenient to have it, like, in my purse when I was actually, like, on the go more. I'm not really now, so I think it's definitely something I could put in a project and get it used up. Maybe Partners in Cream or something. So I'll go ahead and hold on to that. All right, so here for lip oils, um, I probably have some scattered throughout the house. Like I know I have one of these that's in, I think, Cupcake. Uh, I don't like it. It smells like chocolate frosting and I don't like chocolate frosting. So I'm trying to make myself use it. And then I have this one that is in the shade or scent dragon fruit. That is my favorite. And then um, I have this LA Girl lip oil in the Shisent. <laughs> this is in Sheer Watermelon, and I really like this one a lot. I like the formula. I like the scent. Um, this is the e.l.f. Tinted Lip Oil in the shade Coral Kiss. Um, I use this a bit in the summer. I don't really reach for it now because I'm not really going for, like, very corally looks. I don't find that it has like a like super pleasing scent. It doesn't smell bad, but it just isn't, I don't know. Um, these are from Vamigas, I think. This is Sophia and Valentina. Um, that I don't find that they have a scent. I feel like I can probably get through these. I was gonna pass them along, but I, I think I can use them up. I can't remember if I've swatched them or what have you. So that was Sophia and this is Valentina. 
Um, Sophia looks very clear. Valentina has just kind of like a very slight red tint to it. And then I have this Tarte Maracuja Glossy Lip Oil. I don't like this one, but it's a teeny mini, so I'm going to make myself finish it. It smells really good, but I just find that it's a little more thick and gloopy than I like. And then I have this one from Sophia and Maybell that I've never opened, and this is in... Beach Please. This is a tinted lip oil. I'm going to just go ahead and pass this one along because I go through lip oils pretty frequently, but I don't know if I can go through that many. And if I do, I can always repurchase or I'll probably get more in Ipsy, but um, I think this is plenty for me to go through and have like throughout my home and purse, and I can pass this one along to someone that'll make good use of it. These are all of my um, like lip treatments, lip balms, tinted lip balms, what have you. All right, just kind of as a general rule, if it's unopened, I'm not going to go ahead and open it because I don't want to be wasteful. I already have more open than what I'm comfortable with. Um, this is the Seraphine Botanicals Papaya and Balm Glow Lip Mask. I do like this formula. This maybe isn't my favorite of the Seraphine Botanicals, but I don't mind it. Like, I can get through it. This is more of like a lip oil texture than it is like a mask, in my opinion. But it is thicker and it does nourish, so I'll keep that one. I have this Kaleidos Coconut Oil Lip Treatment. I don't really care for this one very much. I'll see if my oldest daughter would maybe like this one. It doesn't really have um, a shade to it, so it's clear. It's a little bit glossy, but I just, I don't find it really does what I need it to. And between the two, I would choose the Seraphine over the Kaleidos. Um, this is the e.l.f. Ride or Die Lip Balm in Tough Cookie. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this. I've heard a lot of people really like it. Their only complaint is that it's a little thick in the package. Um, but I feel like I have enough that because it's unopened, I can pass it along. Um, this is the Hanalei Cookie Lip Balm in Tropical Citrus. This was like a holy grail for me for a while. I don't have that much left, so I feel like I can get through it. Um, this is the Jouer Essential Lip Enhancer Conditioning Lip Treatment. I don't remember liking this one. I, I don't think I did. I think this was also an Ipsy. Wow, nine months. That's so random. Um, it's just a little bit thicker than what I like, and I don't find it quite as nourishing. Like, if it's really thick but nourishing, I don't mind it, but I'm going to pass that one along. And then I have this Aceology Overnight Lip Mask. I'm actually almost done with one that's um, in my bedroom. I think I have two open, but I'll keep this. This is my favorite. Um, I have this... What are you? Belle and Argent. Is that how you say it? I know when I first got it, I said Bell and Argent, like a super hick that I am. This is for Wednesday's Pink. Y'all, I can't help it. Sometimes my Southern comes out. And it's just like a very light pink balm. Um, I would like to try this out. I, I got it in Ipsy and I like the packaging and I definitely want to see how I feel about it. This is the Huda Beauty um, Sparkly Lip Balm in Negligee. Like, I, it feels very gimmicky, but you know what? Some gimmicky things I love, so maybe I'll like it. Maybe I'll hate it. It smells pretty awful. It's very pretty, but I don't think it smells good. I don't know. I need to let my sinuses clear and check that out later, I think. 
This is a Rare Beauty Dewy Lip Balm in Thankful. This was a little bit darker than what I thought it was going to be from the pictures, but um, it goes on pretty sheer, so um, like that swatch was kind of more concentrated, but it does sheer out on the lips, so I think it's okay. I just don't like a very like concentrated deep brown on me. This is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip. This is a little mini. This is in rose. I'm almost done with it. I'm definitely going to finish this. I really like this formula. And when I finish it, I have the actual full size that is unopened. I have the Tarte Jelly Glaze. This is a um, Anytime Lip Mask. I've used this a couple of times. It's nothing that I feel like I have to run out and buy the full size, but um, first of all, it's a cute tiny little packaging. I love the little minis from Tarte, but um, it is very thick, but also sheer, so it's kind of weird. Um, but I feel like it's small enough I can finish it. This is the Sugar Rush, what are you? Vegan Lip Balm. There's like no shade or anything. It's unopened, so I'll keep it. I have the Papaya and Balm Glow Lip Mask from Seraphine Botanicals. I have a second one. Um, I'll just keep it. I go through those. I go through like one of these tubes about every three months, I think. So I don't think I have too many. Um, this is the Seraphine Botanicals Sugar and Lemon Moisturizing Lip Scrub. I'll keep this, but I think I may have a second one on my skincare caddy. If I do, I'll declutter the second one. I have a lip scrub currently open. Um, but once I finish that, I'll, I'll use that one. That's my only backup lip scrub to my knowledge. If I have any others, I'll get rid of them. So including minis, I'm keeping 12 and then I am passing along three. All right, let's do liquid lips. So these are my four Kaleidos um, Cloud Lab Lip Clays. This one is in the shade Pink Moon. These are very new to me, so um, I definitely know that they are good. This one is in the shade, what are you? Adobe. That's right, right? Yeah. I like this formula. I tend to like a more velvety formula now. This one is a little more brown. I think, than what I was expecting. Um, this one is bare. I really like that one. And then this one is in the shade Cactus Flower. I wanted just one kind of more fun shade when I was picking these out. So love those, definitely keeping those. Okay, this is the Flower Beauty um, Bitten Lip Stain in the shade Sweet. I just don't think that I like this formula very much. I'm gonna try it again to make sure. So I'm gonna keep it, but it's definitely on the chopping block. All right. These are the NYX XXL, or Lingerie XXL. Um, I know I opened one of these. All right, well, it sucks. Apparently they're both open. This is in the shade Expose Me. I seriously don't ever remember wearing this, but maybe I did. Um, I like the shade. I don't love the formula, but they're very new to me. This is the shade Undressed. Um, I like the shade. Again, I don't love the formula. But I'll go ahead and keep them, play around with them. 
This is the Glam Light, um, I don't even know what these are. Like one looks like more of a liquid lip. In any case, um, these have already separated. They're not that old in my opinion. Like they're not even a year old since they've been opened, but they may have been old whenever I bought them. They still smell good, but I just don't super love the formula and the fact that they, this one has already separated just kind of like does not appeal to me. Um, so I, I'm going to toss those two. We'll just call that a very expensive learning experience not to get those again. Um, this looks more like a gloss. Um, I'll keep it. it. It doesn't look like it's separated or anything. I don't think it'll last through to the next declutter, but um, even though this is liquid lips, that's mixed in, so we'll just count it here. All right, I have um, one of these in my purse. I have the shade Cupcake. Um, definitely keeping that one. And then I have Frosting. This is my favorite formula, I'm pretty sure. The Kaleidos ones may like end up beating this out eventually, but um, this is definitely my favorite formula. Oh, I didn't even say, these are the Sugar Coat, um, these are like the Velvet Liquid Lipstick. So this is the shade Cupcake, and that one was Frosting. And then this is a discontinued shade, but it is Queen Bee. I wish they would bring this one back. Even if they don't bring it back in the like cute packaging, it's a good shade. They only have four shades currently available, which kind of sucks. These are from Sydney Grace. I don't love this formula, but I don't hate it. I just feel like I don't need any more of them. This one is the shade Faith. And then this one is the shade Ch Carissa or Charissa. It looks like everything else pretty much on my hand. I'll keep it. This is the Sigma New Mod. I really do like this one. Let me just check the scent. We're still good. It's newer to me, but I do know that Sigma stuff can kind of go off a little bit faster. Um, this is from Huda Beauty, and this is a demi mat. This is very old. It needs to go. Um, this is in Lady Boss. It made it through the last declutter, but I haven't reached for it since, so it definitely just needs to go. Funny thing is, it still smells fine, but I just, I don't use it. There's, there's no sense in keeping it. All right, these from Half Caked are not bad, but they're just very old. Like at least two years we're going on. So this is 82 Bordeaux. And they don't smell terrible, but I did notice that the formula has changed the last time I tried to wear them. This is ASAP. And they're just, they dry down too much. It's very uncomfortable to wear. This one is low key. I actually bought these for my daughter because she liked them, but then suddenly decided she did not. And then this one is Theme Song. And I really liked um, the one, so I had the, like, I had this one from an Ipsy and she really liked it and kept asking to use it. So I bought her this little set. And in reality, I probably just should have passed this one along to her. So again, lesson learned. Um, this is from Lethal Cosmetics in the shade Tailwind. It 
again, like I, I, I clearly have a type that I gravitate towards, which is why I don't feel like I need this many. This is a glossy lip stain from e.l.f. It's unopened and it's in the shade Basic Beige. I feel like I have enough <laughs> Basic Beige and I have enough of these to try to use up already. I don't want to open another one that's like everything else I have, so I'll pass that one along. Um, I have this Barbie Glam Light one. Again, they didn't put the shade on here. Oh, this is a gloss. I thought this was a liquid lipstick. Okay. Um, I mean, I'll keep it. I've never used it, so may as well. Um, this is a Natasha Denona Mark Your Liquid Lips in the shade Dahlia. I wanted to try the Natasha Denona Liquid Lip Formula. It looks like everything else that I have, but we're going to keep it. And since I haven't opened it, I'm not going to swatch that one. All right. These last three, I have this one. This is from Jolie 2.0. This is a luster lip in Tarina, I think that says. I don't know if this is a gloss or a liquid lipstick. So let's see. Um, it feels more like a gloss. It smells really good. All right, I'll keep that one. And um, my daughter does not really like um, lip glosses. So that, I think that's why I had a tendency to keep more of those. This is a Ciate Glitter Flip. This is Transforming Liquid Glitter Liquid Lipstick. And this one is in the shade Valentine. And then this one is in the shade Undressed. They do look like they have separated a little bit, but um, they've never been opened. I get the feeling they were just kind of older sitting on a shelf. And that's why they ended up in Ipsy or BoxyCharm. Um, so I'll hang on to those and you know, have fun. It says apply, dry, press, and pop, and it transforms the lip color. We'll see. Okay, so I am keeping 20, technically 21 since I have one in my purse, and I'm decluttering eight. I'm going to put all of these away. Actually, first I'm going to wash off these swatches, then I'm going to put all this away, and we'll check out the drawer together. So this is what the drawer looks like all finished up. Um, I don't like that it goes all the way back and this is as far out as the drawer will open, but I at least have a better idea of everything that I have. I've gotten rid of everything that doesn't work for me or has gone bad. And um, my goal in the future, I think is probably to try to reduce this by one organizer in 2023. So we'll talk more about that in my makeup rehab series on how I'm going to achieve that. But for now, this is going to be everything. Oh, let me lay out all the stuff I decluttered. So this is everything that is definitely going in the trash. And this is everything that is getting passed along to friends, family, um, and 
unopened items will definitely find a new home for sure. And then the rest, I'm going to let my daughters and mom come. All right, that's going to wrap up the video for today. I am being so lazy and I am using the same outro for every single video. Um, I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that you'll stay tuned for the rest of the declutters and um, collection videos. I had a lot of fun, you know, going through and swatching things and just kind of playing in my makeup again. And... Uh, if you like this video, I hope you give it a big thumbs up. And if you would like to see more makeup and beauty content from me, hit that subscribe button and I'll have more coming at you. I hope wherever you are, you have a wonderful day. Bye.